Hey guys, welcome to part three of the van build series. So today we are gonna be installing a Max Air fan right above me here. So before we get into it, I'll just talk a little bit about the Max fan. So a few reasons why I picked the Max Air Deluxe fan was because that one, they're bi-directional, so they can extract air and blow air down. And two, they can work uh, as normal while it's pouring down rain. So you can have the fan open and no rain will get in. So yesterday I installed a fan at the front of the van in the little kitchen area. I'll show you that in a second. And it's gonna be right above the gas cooktop. So my thought process of having two exhaust fans was I'm gonna have one in the back above the bed and one over the kitchen above the cooktop so that when I'm all close, when the van's all closed up and I'm all stealth, I want to be able to suck all the um, cooking fumes out. So I could have this exhaust fan blowing down while the kitchen exhaust fan is extracting, which will create a draft through the van and efficiently suck out all the air. So I'll quickly show you the fan that I installed yesterday in the kitchen. Then we'll go through the install process. And then at the end, I'll show you them both running. Okay, just quickly guys. So here's the kitchen. That's gonna be the cooktop there, this little square just in front of my feet. So the fan is just above, straight above the cooktop. Perfect location to suck out the fumes straight away. And yeah, that's the first fan. So let's go to the install process. Start by unpacking your fan and measuring your cutout size. Now measure center of the battens and the sides and mark out your drill hole. You can eye up your shroud to see how it's going to fit. Now drill a small reference hole. I put up a plastic garbage bag to catch any falling debris. I divided my cutout size by two, then I measured out in each direction and used a T-square to mark it all up straight. Then I just double checked my markings with the shroud. I used a grinder to cut it out, but I would recommend using a jigsaw if you have access to it. A grinder leaves a lot of metal filings all over the roof, so make sure you blow them off and clean them off straight away to prevent rust. Once you've cleaned the roof of any metal filings, file all the bird edges down. Now wipe down and use a rust protector paint over the edges. I used 40mm wide by 10mm thick putty tape to use as a spacer and a water sealant between the fan shroud and the roof of the van. Measure the outside dimensions of the shroud. Then cut your roll into strips. Now lay them out and cut them to suit. Make sure your putty sits center of your shroud holes. I 
I used a 2.5 millimeter drill bit to pre-drill all my holes. Now screw in the screws provided with as even tension as possible. I'm using Sikaflex Pro as my sealant and I cut the tip wider just to make it easier to apply. Now turn the knob so the fan's in the up position. I lifted these four metal tabs up about three mil so that the fan holes line up easily. Make sure the cables don't get caught. Now just put in the final four screws and you're done. So the final step would be to install this cover for the bottom, but you don't do that until you've sheeted your ceiling. So you would cut this to the correct depth, depending on your van. And once you've done your, your ceiling, your sheeting, you'd put that up and then you'd screw the four screws to your, to your sheeting of your ceiling. I cleaned the roof and the sides just in case there was any metal filings left over. Alright, so I've finished the second exhaust fan. I've dummy rigged both the exhaust fans up and they're ready to go. Got power to them, so we'll turn this one on now. So this is the controls. You can see that it's blowing air in, so it's acting as a fan. It's on 50% speed and the vent is open. So if I push the fan up, that will respond by going full power. If I change the direction to extracting, the fan will stop and then it will start going in the other direction. We can close the vent. Okay, I'll just turn this one on. So this one's extracting air and the other one's blowing down. So it's creating a draft through the whole vehicle. I've only got them both on 50%. And that's full power. So you can feel that sucking air pretty well. All right guys, so that concludes episode three of this van build series. Please hit that like button if you like the video and comment if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see future van build videos. So that's it guys, that's episode three done. The next episode will be installing insulation. So until then, I'll see you next time. Catch up.